Hi everyone. Um, it's 11.30 at night and I am in the kitchen. And yeah. So Happy New Year. Um, God, now I'm like suddenly super tired. I just took a bath. I know. I'm all relaxed and tired. Um, so just wanted to see and I can't really see you guys how everybody's doing um, and kind of wanted to talk God for like for, for the past couple of days I've been excited about making this video and now I'm like tired <laughs> as I'm making it um, but I have to do it on the day of because it's New Year's um, so Ember Honey Raven um, made a video talking about like New Year's resolutions and that stuff. I'm talking about intentions instead. New Year's intentions or the New Year intentions of the New Year basically. And I agree with the optimism of that claim. Um, it, I prefer it more than um, the idea of a resolution. I'm not really good with goals. Um, I have to find stuff that keeps me incredibly motivated. I'm, I kind of am not a self-motivated person. Uh, but, sorry you guys. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about what I want to do for this year. Um, not like many of you would care, but kind of wanted to get this out there. Um, Firstly, I mean, there's a, I have a weight loss goal that I want to hit. I want to lose 60 pounds by June, which may not seem a lot to people because that's, what, 10 pounds per month. Um, but I have a rough time losing weight and keeping it off um, and I don't know if it's I mean what I've been eating recently it's kind of hard right now because I'm kind of hormonal and so um, I've, had, and I've had instances where if I don't eat enough calories or if I don't have enough of certain this this or that I feel really sick um, and I retain a lot of water so <laughs> um, that becomes a problem bloaty right now. Uh, thankfully, though, the tincture that I made, um, if I take it often enough, I'm not as, I'm definitely not as bloated as I was before I had made the tincture, but I'm still bloated. Um, Frank! Frank! You stop! You are being so bad! Well, I would turn, but I don't want you to see how messy our kitchen is. What are you doing? Did you hear something? Ooh. Ooh, big stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looked like a good stretch, Frank. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to have to figure something out. And I think, basically, what my issue has been is not having enough of a distraction in my life or having activities to do to keep me distracted from eating. Um, I'm kind of a thoughtless eater. I don't really think about, you know, the damage I'm doing by just eating something and I eat when I'm bored. And so I think part of my, a big majority of my issue um, in the past is just not having enough to do to keep me distracted from eating. So hopefully I can fix that because uh, classes start in four days. Break's already over. I'm so sad. Um, so there's that. My other intention of this year is to, even though I'm already like a week into this, is to not eat meat for three months. Um, and I know people will be like, oh, you know, meat's good for you, and 
you know, protein and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and I do have an iron problem. Um, oh, sorry. Something just went off on Skype or a messenger. Um, uh, yeah, I do have a little bit or after, you know, years of having a bit of a heavy flow, um, have an iron problem. And so I do have to take um, supplements for that. But, you know, I think my issue is that um, there's just too much meat in, the, in my house. Um, my dad likes to cook a lot of steak, like a lot of steak, and like nothing on the side. He's very much a kind of a meat and potatoes kind of guy and I'm not. And I'm just getting sick of feeling guilty about eating meat. Um, I know that sounds kind of bizarre, but years ago I used to have, well, I, I did this really bad thing of being part of a 4-H group that sold pigs off to auction and I was more excited about the concept of just like raising a pig not really thinking about having the pig be butchered and um, his name was Miles by the way and um, ever since then I've had an issue and this has been years of trying to disconnect from how animals feel in the concept of, you know, what they're going through that we, you know, thoughtlessly kind of eat them. And, um, you know, I look at my, the dogs around, and I know dogs are not pigs or cattle or whatever, but I can't help but to see them and know that there's a valuable life and feelings inside the animal. I know that I'm talking about a dog. But it's, I, I feel like that goes with all animals. And so, I mean, pig, cow, chicken, um, a fish. I've had a little bit of an issue with the fish. Because fish don't really show that much emotion to me, I guess. But that's because I don't handle a lot of fish. But still, fish have valuable lives. Um, and I just don't want to be part of that slaughter. I mean, I see pictures and documentaries and it's just really heartbreaking and gut-wrenching and just sickening all around. So if I, I feel that if I can pull off not eating meat for three months successfully, then I can just stay that way. Um, so that's kind of the test thing. I know it sounds kind of weird, like, Katie, why don't you just keep, you know, going on and just, no, no, put a time limit on that. I don't know, I just feel like putting a time limit on, a limit on it and making it tangible makes me feel like I've hit a successful point. Yeah. Another thing um, that's tangible is I want to do, uh, do I want to do a water fast? I do want to do a water fast. I want to do, like, a water fast detox Maybe it's kind of hard now. Twice a month. Hmm. Oh no. I read about a uh, water fasting or yeah. And you guys, I really just do I I I, I wanna do a fast. I think I've done like a twelve hour fast. Um, but I feel like that's something I need to do in my life because I feel like I'm too scatterbrained and too, uh, my imagination kind of just, I mean, I'm on a high, like all the time thinking about crap and I need to focus and kind of focus, but mellow out. I need to have like a kind of a stepping back out of body moment where I can, kind of see the whole of a lot of things and just be content with that. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense. I know I kind of sound like a hippie, but like instead of just being worried and freaking out about all these ideas and uh, thoughts, 
in my head, I want to just be content with how things are and just kind of, um, dial in to what things are and how things are, if that makes any sense. And I feel like if I'm not focusing on eating or, you know, whatever, and then by doing so, I can focus on more important things in my life, uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, and um, dial in a bit more to myself and kind of get to the core of why things are how they are with me. I know that sounds kind of complicated, so I'm not, I'm not even going to try to continue. Um, and, yeah. So those are my intentions for this year. I also wanted to mention that I don't really plan on making, unless I have like some sort of wicked epiphany, I don't really plan on talking super spiritually on my channel anymore. Um, I just don't feel like that's necessary and I feel like with the way that my life has been that I need to sort things out myself before I can talk about things like that um, and be certain in myself understanding of myself before I talk about things that should be spoken about with certainty and understanding. So, like I said, until I have like a wicked epiphany or some kind of aha moment, um, I really don't want to talk about that. I mean, if I have some weird thought or something, I'll probably share it, but I'm not going to be like, well, in the life of, you know, today in the life of, you know, sort of a thing, I had this moment where... I looked at a flower and, you know, blah, blah, even though I might, because that actually sounds like something I would think about, but I digress. Um, yeah, just wanted to do a little heads up there. I'm probably going to just do, like, life updates and food updates, maybe. I don't know. I need a good fucking camera. I have just this little shitty webcam, and I need, like, an actual video camera. Um... And, hey, if any of you guys know about good video editing programs or software, please let me know, because I don't know of any. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I keep saying yeah, because I can't find another freaking um, conjunction, but whatever. I hope everybody's... Yule time, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa festivities were wonderful. Um, mine were actually pretty decent considering that I really didn't want to deal with family. Um, yeah, they were surprisingly okay. Um, and... I, I'm grateful that I've come to find out that I can actually be civil um, in a room with my mother, though I would not like to be. Um, and I am proud of the fact that I didn't, and it's kind of bizarre that I didn't even have the inclination of feeling this way, I am proud that I didn't end up crying or throwing a fit or having a kind of meltdown after dealing with my mother, because that's happened multiple times before, and this time I just didn't feel really anything. I was kind of in a mood of, I'm not going to let you fuck with me, but it wasn't a forceful, like, out of spite sort of a thing. It was more for myself and taking care of myself and knowing that <gasps> my aunt didn't want to fight in her house. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was good. And I think that is kind of led to a more positive, um, beginning of this year because the end of last year was kind of hit with a surprise um yeah and also you guys now this sounds kind of silly even though I talked to my friend about it and she kind of understands what I'm talking about um 
it's nice to have somebody agree with me, but ever since I've started altering my diet, my mood has changed. I still have moments of freaking out and getting angry and frustrated, um, but they're not so numerous. Um, they've kind of dwindled down, they're kind of staggering down, which I find kind of fascinating. And I definitely believe that part of the reason that I've had so many emotional issues, I mean, that's not the very core of my problems, but um, a lot of it, I feel, has been contributed to how I've been eating, which is fascinating to me. Um, yeah. So that's kind of good and well, it's not kind of good it's great um, and hopefully this kind of sticks this kind of mindset this feeling good this optimism sets and just stays and hopefully gets higher because um, yeah I just I feel different you guys I just feel different and I don't really know how to explain it but it's a good feeling, so I hope that everybody who's watching this um, starts the year off feeling good and um, has a lot of good intentions. Yeah, I mean, it's 2015, you guys. I mean, hoverboard should be coming out. We need to have flying cars, shoes that dry themselves. I mean, come on.